Hey there guys, Saf here, welcome back to Third Age of the War Divide and Conquer. This is the Dole Amaroth series, it has been about three weeks or so since I've recorded this series. Obviously you guys have been watching um, my last couple of channel updates, so you know that I've been away and I've been pretty been sort of really busy and had things going on outside of YouTube so I've had to take a bit of a break um, but I'm back so I'm starting off this return with an episode from Dol Amroth. Um, I will be doing some more Empire as well just to let you guys know I will be doing some more Empire at War. Um, not Empire at War, Empire Total War so I will be getting around to recording some of that but at the moment the easiest one or the quickest one that I can get started um, on my return is Dal Amroth. I do have some episodes for the Star Wars series and for Imladris ready to go as well but I've been uploading a lot of both of those series recently and nothing for Dal Amroth or Empire Total War so um, or the Ottoman sorry so I'm gonna be doing that first so we're gonna be starting off with some Dal Amroth and then over, hopefully over the next day or two I shall get some uh, Ottomans campaign recorded and uploaded for you as well so um, Please just be a little bit more patient for the Ottomans. I will be getting around to doing that. I did actually make, try and make an attempt at doing some recording for that. And had a pretty big battle to fight. Um, but unfortunately right at the end of the battle. Uh, after everything was over and done with. It crashed. And I really had no motivation to go back and try it again. So, and that was a that was a few that was a couple of days ago. So, I will be trying to do that again this week for you. So, to start this one off. As you guys noticed right at the end of the last episode, the game crashed after the battle finished. Um, so we're actually going to be refighting that battle simply because it's been that long since I've played this game or played this campaign. So I'm going to be refighting this battle for you. And um, 23 against 20, 2300 against 2600. Um, it's all going to be out fight the fort outside the walls, if I remember correctly. They only have well, they have a couple of arch units. But, um, yeah, this should be okay. Break their will. Let's get started and let's get this one done and out of the way so we can get back on track with our campaign. We're actually doing really well now. Um, this is the sort of stage we should have been at a long time ago in the series, but because of my stupidity and poor choices of being a more defensive faction than a more aggressive faction, this is where we're at now. So, <laughs> um, we have an army about to attack Ramlond as well in the next turn. The closest enemy reinforcing army that I can see is still in the territory near Umbar, and it's going to take them two turns to get to Ramlond to help defend it, but which, by which point, obviously, we will have attacked it and hopefully taken it. Right, let's move everything over here. Let's get these guys down here. You're there, you're there. Okay, you actually did get put in there. <laughs> I was a bit unsure. You're there. You're there. Okay, you can just about see them. You can see them there. These guys are in there somewhere. Lovely. Okay, so it's just cavalry. Uh, oh yeah, catapults. We're not gonna be able to move because they suck ass. Yeah, they're they're a pain in the ass to form up in places. So I think we're gonna be stuck with where they are at the moment in the town center. So I shall leave them there. Just look at this pile of men. Look at it. Don't even bother firing. What are you trying to do? Okay. Catapults, let's just tell you guys to get out here to start with. Just so that they get on the move. We have no... Oh, we do have pikes off there. No. Okay. So let's form you guys up here. Uh... Let's do something along the lines of this. So this will be our front line. We must defend our <laughs> <coughs> 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 
Okay. Fight for your honor, Fear nothing and fight well. It really doesn't matter about, um, you know, how it all looks. I'm trying to keep it relatively nice and tidy, if possible, but to be perfectly honest, it really doesn't matter right now. And you swords. How did I forget you? Get in there as well. Cool. Still, can still move everything around without worrying too much about form. Ah, oh, I completely forgot about you. For some reason I thought these guys were the White Knights. Right, speed this up a little bit. Come on. <coughs> Excuse me. Whew. I think it's been about three weeks or so since I've recorded this series. The date today that I'm recording this episode is the 14th of June. So it might actually be closer to a month since I recorded, <laughs> which is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Okay, so there should be everybody coming out now. Let's move everything forward to there. Blank. Sorted. Look at my guys move. Awesome. Nice. I think this is one of the last full stacks that we can see. I think the other one that we can physically see is in that fort. Um, I was having a look at the map earlier. I can't, I can't remember the location. I can't remember the city that the fort's outside, but there's a fort um, on our um, inside Haradrim territory, but on like our borders, um, and that is where. There's a full stack of Haradrim troops. So I think... That that is uh, the other... Well, the, the only other biggest full stack that we can see. There very well could be others. But I haven't seen them yet. So. Cav, you're fine where you are. I'm actually going to set my pikes up now. Fine. Right, cutie poots. Let's take some pot shots, shall we? See if we get lucky and hit anything. Apparently, you guys are having to move. What are they? Going out of range? Oh, come on. Don't you play this game with me, AI. I will kick your ass for it. I'm going to leave my swords where they are. They don't need... I'm only moving forward a few feet. Go 
Come on, canopies, move into position. Do -do 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 -do. Right. Open for ya. If I can get a really, if I can get a, like a random stray shot that hits the general at the back, that'd be lovely. So I did get asked actually in, I think it was probably in um, one of my Imledris episodes. I got asked why I don't use, why I use flaming shot all the time instead of using um, regular shot because regular shot is obviously more accurate. And to be perfectly honest, oh, that was close. To be perfectly honest, I guess the smart thing to do would be to use regular shot. However, the bonus that you get with flaming shot is that the area of damage it does is so much greater. So if I was to hit that unit, that cavalry unit there with regular shot, I'd have probably hit two or three. And in this time, I've hit several in one go. The same with infantry, I've probably only hit a few of them and I've hit like a mass group. So that's kind of one benefit of Oh, I was so hoping we got the general with that one because he was all grouped up. Um, yeah, so that's one benefit of using flaming shot over regular shot is simply because of that really. <laughs> Some camels there. Prepare to rebel attackers. There's some cavalry coming in here. So you didn't throw your javelins. The hell do you think you're doing? Well, those guys are screwed up. Lebanon Marines. Oh, these guys are going to get wrecked. Oh, there goes the general. Oh, my goodness. Right, hold fire, please. Alright, let's get some spears over on the flank. I don't know why I didn't put these spears on the, on my flank a whole load sooner. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Too late now. Just got to deal with it. Move in. Right, catapults. Actually, if you can focus on these guys over here, that'd be fantastic. In fact, if the archers could do the same. Spears block off the sides. We've got a cab unit moving in. And they got in for this crew, that's fine. Right. Cab, let's get down here. We're going to go take out some archers. Yeah, my Lebanon Marines got wrecked. Oh well. I'm actually going to hold fire my catapults now. Couple of those pikes over there. there you go. Take care of the last of this bodyguard unit. Our trollmen are routed. Archers, if you can actually just shoot this pike unit, that'd be very, very helpful. Well, our cab mops up the rest of their archers over there. Victory, eh? I don't think so. Ooh. Make every shot count. Our arrows grant 
Archer's turn. We've got some beast masters over there to take care of. Let's move those guys out to the flank. We'll get them around. <coughs> Come on, mop them up. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. I'm going to flank this middle group. <coughs> Excuse me. That's them done. That's the last of them done. Right. Let's get our cavalry back closer to the fighting. One guy left there. See if we can chase those guys down, please. Oh, there's pikes. Never mind. Go around the pikes. These masters are broken. Our left flank is pretty much gone. Into the middle here. The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. Right, don't bother trying to chase them down. We need to come and save our flank. We need to come save our people. Looks like they're all starting to rout. Yep, in their entire lines crumbled. Move in. Run them down. Okay. Nice. Three men in the middle there. Look at these arrows flying in against these pikes. Should be down to about 30. 31. 30. You heard another one got another guy get killed, that's 29, another one 28. No, it's far more than that. They're 22. Okay, I miscounted that terribly. Alright. So we've got Cav unit chasing down these guys. Or trying to, but they're not doing very well. Look at that. Marines, 14. Damn. They took the brunt of the cavalry charge, though. Right. Archies, you can hold fire now. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. Ah. So it's literally just... There we go. The Done. We have won here 495 today. for 2619. Yes. I honestly have no freaking idea why I put my marines and stuff on the flanks. I have no idea why I did that. Ooh, uh. Oh, well. What's done is done and cannot be undone. Therefore, I will execute. The siege has been lifted. No other significant forces nearby. 
I need to be able to recruit stuff, but I can't because I'm not very cultured, apparently. <laughs> okay, so. What should I... S I mean, they're pretty, they're pretty screwed up. I mean, what can I send in their place? I don't think I can really send anything right now. I think that's more or less it for the turn. Okay, I have two fleets here now. Do I have any missions? Take the settlement of Ramlond. That's the only mission I have. I'm about to do that. This is the army I was talking about. This, this that's the closest one. So you'll take two turns to get to them for them to get to Ramlond. Oh, shut up, you! Leave me be. Ship destroyed. Blockading that port. We are victorious. Right, we more or less we're more or less in control of the seas. Do have that force there, and I have my my full stack army over here, heading to An Karagmir. We've got this army outside it. That we're gonna have to deal with first. That's a full stack. Okay, so I lied. There is another full stack. Uh, this is the one I was talking about in the fort. Aaron the Kind. So there's an actual general in there. This is the capital, Amron. It's just got the regular general in there. I haven't seen the faction leader. Gobel and Kalamon is the place that we captured. Culture is at zero. We're in the process of retraining. I right, can send them down here. Can I recruit those guys from there then? No, I can't. I can recruit them there. So if I can get... S so let's see, if I can... So I've got two units of 80, one unit of 67. I'm going to send the... I will not waste one unit of 67. Let's As stay out of range of that army. We can send that one unit of 67 later. back for retraining. This full stack's going to come in here. Um... Your will, my lord. Okay, cool. So there's a bit of micromanagement to sort out, but it's... Not something we're not. It's not. It's not exactly something we're not used to. So that's fine. Okay, let's end the turn. And let's see what we can do, or what happens actually. I don't remember my result of that battle the last time I tried it. It probably was a lot better than that one. <laughs> um. Oh well. Siege was broken, and one of the largest armies that we can see that Harrod owns was destroyed. So. End of the day, it was a win. A win we needed. And I still have the majority of my army in that settlement ready to uh, defend if Mordor comes any further down. At the moment, they're busy laying siege to... What's it, what's it called? I can't remember what the place is called. The one at the top. My little experiment castle, the one I just randomly took. Retreat, please. Thank you. Shouldn't be in range. Nope. Thank goodness for that. I thought I might have miscalculated. So what did we get? A uh, Death Stalks the land in Tarnost? What the hell is wrong with you people? Right, okay. You are going in there. Yes. Put you in there as, as well. Orders. I will not waste words on you. Let's just force that army out of the way. The of oh, they're actually going to attack. They're actually going to stand and fight. Wow. Okay, this was unexpected. If I auto resolve, I'll probably lose quite a lot of men. Wow. Okay. This I was not expecting. Let's just back off for a second. Let me just get this sorted. Otherwise, I'll lose the notifications and I won't know what's been done. So we're just going to do this quickly. So we're 51,000 in the bank, 13,000 per turn income. Um... Don't have a ballast to make. Let's get that. Tier Ethraid. We can get farm hands now. Yay. Farm hands. Whoop, whoop. 
Oh, they broke off the siege of Ostithil. Well, I'm not going to complain. I'll still get that castle then. Huh. Fancy that. Currently retraining the catapult. Um, I will retrain my one of my pikemen apparently. One of my swords. I may recruit a couple of militias. Just to boost it a bit more. Retrain you. Good thing we've got another general. City of Barad Han ready to upgrade. Oh my goodness, we've got Barad Han to upgrade. Never thought we'd be saying that, would we? Been swapping hands between us and Harad for god knows how long. And now we have and now that it's finally under our control, it's upgrading. It's crazy, man. Okay. What we got? What we got? What we got? Fair bit in there. So let's lay siege. Quell this evil. Relations worsened with Haradrim abysmal. Okay, that's fine. Maintain order. Plenty we've got quite a bit of troops, we should be okay. Mariners of the fleet! Blockade that port. Access to their port. Ready your weapons, my lord. By your command. Boom. Okay, so we got the army. We got the f unit in there. All right. To finish off this episode, we'll have a we'll have another quick fight. Let me just resave that. We we'll have another quick fight just to finish off this episode. Normally, when the game when this game crashes after a battle or during a battle I tend to go back and I just if I finish the battle sorry I tend to go back and just replay it in my own time and then record from there obviously for this time this time I decided to redo that battle because we haven't played this game in a while or I haven't played this game in a while um, so this episode's not this episode is not going to look like we've got a lot done unfortunately but It's been fine. I'm not going to bother putting stakes down because I can't really... There's not really any point. There's no cavalry in the enemy army. Let's march forward with my pikes. Catabolos, you're doing terribly. This is an interesting map as well. Catabolos, you can hold fire. I'm going to let my archers do all this bit for the moment. Okay. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. There goes enemy captain.
shooting up this trollman unit now. Only half the enemy force remains. The battle is very Going much down to in 60. Our Victory will be ours. Let's hold fire, let my pikesmen finish them off. Bloody your spear points. This line of dead trauma at the back here. Hmm, where they be, where they be. Get my swordsman down here. Pikes, you can swap places with my archers. My archers can come forward, I think. These tr last trollmen. There they are. Fifty eight of them. Just wait for my swordsman to get off that river. Prepare and Charge! Not so much of a charge that I was hoping for, but oh well. Oh, look at this guy at the front. Like look this, at him. We will smash the enemy. You're going to miss, but never mind. It looks like he's being killed. <laughs> oh, they're just hacking and slashing at these troops. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, straight through the gut and the neck. If this was a Rome 2 or Attila with the blood, blood, uh, the gore pack added on, that guy's head would have fallen off. Stab and schloys. The enemy army flees the field. Sorted. Lost three men. That's fine. Victory. Cool. So we just got rid of those three. It wasn't really anything significant, but it's three less trauma to worry about, I guess. Three less trauma running, running there. Uh, Running around scouting out my my lands, so and my armies. So it's all good. It's all good. No. Never shall they return. Captain of Gondor. Lovely. Okay, so. My lord. Approaching quietly. Approaching quietly. Ooh, Variag warriors. Interesting. My lord. Yes, as you wish. Yes. Without Apparently nothing question. along this road. As you wish. Nothing at Imlad Khanan. I think this is where I was trying to get this army to go to. Was Imlad Khanan. Take that town. No armies around. Marinus! One more turn there. So once I've recruited these guys, I'll send them up to here. Take over the garrison at Tirithrade. I will not waste words on you. 
and uh, we can get this army down to Imlad Khanan and take that. And we've also got Ramlond as well, which we're going to be taking next episode. Sweet. All right, guys. That is all the time I have for for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Again, I really do apologize that um, it's been such a big break in this series. Um, this episode's been going on for about 40-odd minutes. So most of my other videos for, like... Imladris tend to be around 30 or a little less sometimes um, so it's easy it's been easier for me to quickly record a Imladris episode um, but then obviously my uploads haven't been getting done so I apologize for all that but you guys have been extremely understanding and supportive and it's been incredible so thank you very much for all of that from you guys and um, hopefully we should be getting back on track with our recordings very soon and uploads as well so thank you very much thank you very much for watching guys i'm going to stop rambling and i will see you in the next episode